Um, uh, on the agenda with Steve Pakin last night, I watched an interview with Michael Corrin. Uh, um, now he's a he's I'm not very familiar with him, but he's a, um, he's a Canadian social conservative um, that uh, opposed gay marriage at one point because of his religion. Um, the interview on the agenda came off as very sincere, very honest. So you know, and he actually comes off as a very likable person. Um, so you know, um, points there <laughs> with some religious people, and I have run into them in my lifetime. They are extremely, um, extremely. Um, well, let's just say um, they don't come off as religious. Uh, or you know, um, of sound mind, or of, uh, <laughs> or uh, or or even you know, uh, or even possessing a sense of uh, um, humanity. <laughs> so uh, they they definitely uh, they some religious people have come across. They they definitely come across as uh, um, maybe some of the worst characters in the Bible or whatever holy book they have. But, uh, um, anyway, aside from the joke, um, you know, Michael Corrin came off as very sincere about his, uh, you know, his change of heart when it came to gay marriage or marriage equality. Um, and, um, you know, I, I, for some odd reason, I don't know him. I, you know, I've never run into him. I've, you know, I've never seen him at any events or heard him talk about anything or read any of his books for that matter. But that short little interview came off as, uh, you know, what he was all about and, um, uh, you know, in a very, uh, you know, and maybe I'm just saying that too because he's now, you know, he's now for gay marriage. So maybe he won some points with me. So, uh, so maybe that was at play as well. Um, but essentially, I, 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 it got me thinking. It got me thinking about, uh, about, um, uh, about atheism and homosexuality again. And I have to say, you know, it's, I, I'm going to come off as sort of the, you know, I'm going to come across as kind of, um, the NDP somehow, you know, in saying that I think that atheism is the only way of thinking that kind of gives uh, for sure, almost a hundred percent sure, um, or lend to the fact of athe uh, of homosexuality almost one hundred lends to the fact of homosexuality one hundred percent. What do I mean by that? Well, it, it means that atheism, or all the atheists I've heard, and based on their scientific research and you know statistics and data that were that was collected, um, homosexuality uh, comes uh, you know as explained through science comes across as a very uh, integral part of the natural world, and it doesn't exist in just humanity. It happens or with humans. It happens in the in in the animal kingdom as well. So. You know, dolphins and apes and tigers and lions and dogs and bunnies and you know, um, I, I just kind of ad lib that uh, that list. But um, essentially, essentially, homosexuality, as explained through atheism, um, you know, is one hundred percent natural. Like it, it happens. You know, and the, what what strikes me as even what I, you know what strikes me as even more is that atheism does not have, like the Catholic Church, they, you know, where they kind of have to, you know, jimmy it in and basically make up little, you know, points of delaying the issue and like, oh, it's okay, but they just get, get married and they, you know, they, like, you know, the, like that type of thing, like, you know, it's, atheism doesn't go through that sort of like apologetic sort of denial type of thingy like a lot of religions do or a lot of religious people do. Um, you know, I've even had religious people say, oh, we don't care, it doesn't bother us, they just don't want gays getting married, that's all. <laughs> um, so it, it, it's been there, and uh, or they don't want gays around them and things like that, you know, well, it's okay with me, as long as they don't come around me, you know. Um, so that's kind of like where it comes from, The uh, but atheism, on the other hand, um, for the most part, I, you know, I have heard of you know, like one or two people somewhere in the pockets of America that, you know, are atheists, but they're also anti-gay. So, uh, you know, something along those lines. But um, as explained through science, um, you know, homosexuality is, is actually a naturally occurring phenomenon and there's nothing wrong with it as wrong is defined through religious books and this and that. Um, so it's, you know, it's, 
that's one of the reasons atheism kind of appeals to me. Um, you know, not the only reason, but a, a large part of the reason that I kind of started understanding atheism and started reading into it was because of the homosexuality thing. Um, but uh, yeah. Anyway, that's uh, that's pretty much my video for today. Uh, I will talk to you later. Bye.